Hello my friends, it's me again. Okay, today, today I want to get into some, something a bit more serious than the shorts that I have been posting lately. By the way, thank you for viewing the shorts. They have been, <laughs> they have had an awesome, awesome uh, <laughs> amount of viewers. I, I really appreciate it. Well, as you probably remember, uh, in my profession, or during my, my whole working life, uh, I was a clinical psychologist, and my area of concentration was clinical sexology, which in my time, in those times there were no uh, formal classes to learn this, so learning was a, a sort of a trial and error thing. But after 40 years of, of uh, taking on cases and studying and publishing and all that, uh, I, I think I, I did pretty well. <laughs> okay, I still have friends that uh, will call me once in a while asking about something that may pertain to their sexual health. For example, at, at this age, I'm going to be uh, 79. In, uh, a couple, in some weeks, at this age, it's, it's quite often to have, uh, for us men, to have prostate problems. And uh, I still have um, at least a uh, once a year meeting with my high school friends, and uh, a lot of them have, have the same. Uh, complaints. Some of them have had their prostate removed. Someone, some others have had uh, 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 prostate resection, which means that the prostate is not removed, but it's clean inside. And all the, the particles that have grown inside the prostate and have made it grow become inflamed or swell, or swollen, uh, all this has uh, worked against their urinary uh, performance. So, one of my friends asked me specifically, and I'm going to go by this a little script that I, that I, or some notes that I have here. He had what is called a TURP, Transurethral Resection of the Prostate. This is made with a little uh, catheter that is introduced inside the, the urethra and that uh, will go to the prostate and will sort of chip away all this uh, residue that keeps the inflammation and doesn't allow for the urine to flow. And my friend asked me whether he should be doing Kegel exercises. Perhaps women are more familiar with this term because in 1940, Dr. Cato uh, came up with uh, uh, a publication where he uh, uh, gave some steps to follow to strengthen the pelvic floor in women. This uh, funny thing now is that 
Nowadays, uh, many people or many physicians in many medical institutions are uh, recommending men to also perform these exercises, these kegel exercises. In fact, uh, I, I just went over a, a few uh, videos on YouTube on this uh, subject and I found out that uh, in Chinese medicine, uh, Dr. Sun Si Miao, many centuries ago, a very famous Chinese doctor, recommend these same exercises under a different name, of course, but exactly the same exercises for all men. Uh, doesn't matter whether they're healthy or not. Uh, and I have uh, <laughs> also seen uh, a video recently of, of a guy uh, who speaks very, very uh, affirmatively against this practice in men. Well, <laughs> I respect the Chinese culture. I respect Chinese medicine very much. As you know, I, I've been to China several times and I, I definitely uh, will go by, by their experience. So, what are these exercises? Either Kegel or uh, Dr. Sun Si Miao's exercises. And all that is needed actually is to identify the muscles in the 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 this color in, in the tip of the penis and the muscles of the anus. Then what is it what is supposed to be done? It's very simple. At the same time that you contract the anus, you have to contract it. It's, uh, it, it's not a matter of, of uh, pressing your, your, your bums, no. You, you, the, the guy will uh, contract the anus uh, a little bit and see if he can feel, as he contracts, if he can feel the in a way, the, the tip of, of, the, of, the, of the glands, or the glands, this, all this should make the, the genitals move a little bit. So that's all that has to be done. Just contract the anus, these muscles, this, this little star here, contract it, and at the same time, you should feel, just move a little bit. Then you do it several times. Apparently, uh, I, I've seen many things recommended, but uh, if you're lying down or sitting down, you just contract it and breathe normally and contract. Do it 10 times. Make a pause, relax a little bit, follow ten more times, relax, and that's it. You can do it two or three times a day. Uh, I I read uh, an article from the Mayo Clinic, and uh, they also. Uh, recommend uh, these Kegel exercises for for men. So there is uh, no harm in doing it. Uh, it is after this surgery, this type of surgery, uh, the the male may not.
not uh, ejaculate because the uh, ejaculate will go into the uh, into the bladder. But there's nothing to worry about that. Uh, nothing will come out. But the sensation is the same, strong. It's, a, it's strong. Um, of course, it's a good idea to talk with a with a partner and uh, know that this will happen. But uh, it's it's normal in this case. Okay, so this is the English bit of it. Now I'm going to translate this into Spanish. Thank you for listening. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, if you can subscribe or oh, give it a like, great. No one's sponsoring. Cuando llegamos al final, pueden tocarlo arriba el videito. Y es, está en inglés, pero es un video que habla un poco de del doctor Sun Simiao. Y. Es interesante. Ok. Uh, by the way, I have a, a, a little video in the end that I would like you to uh, look uh, because it, it has a, a bit more specifics about Dr. Sun Simian and how to perform these exercises. Okay? Bueno, entonces nos vemos en la próxima. Eh, ya sin, sin un tema tan. Y escabroso como este escabroso no tiene nada pero sí es buena idea que, que los jóvenes vayan sabiendo que hay algunas maneras de mejorar algunos problemas que probablemente tengan en el futuro nos vemos ok